and welcome or welcome back to my channel and if you've been here before you probably know that this is not my regular content typically i make sewing and style videos i guess like showing the pieces that i make but uh i'm getting my boobs done <laughs> so if you would like to see the the journey i guess of getting your boobs done in mexico um in quite like a unique uh, setting of it being during a pandemic, unfortunately. Uh, continue watching. Thank you, and I hope you guys find it interesting. Hi, everybody. So, I just got out of surgery. I couldn't really film before. And to be honest, it doesn't hurt that bad. The only thing is I'm really cold. I can definitely feel like a little bit of a burning sensation where the incisions are. But uh, overall, I don't feel as uh, much pain as I was expecting. Um, since I have a spinal fusion, they had to feel around for where my bar is because I forgot the actual number of uh, where my spinal fusion was and that felt more painful than what I'm feeling now. So hopefully that's the other way, but uh, we'll see. Uh, see you guys later. Oh, hi guys. Uh, I'm honest, I just had breakfast. Uh, they gave me like ham and white bread. I didn't eat that. Um, <laughs> and a banana so I could like take my medicine and orange juice. But honestly, I don't feel that bad. I don't know if it's because I've had a spinal fusion before, but I just feel like like here and here. But it's not even. I don't know if it's pressure or anything, but it doesn't hurt. Like I feel like. I've, like, I've had period cramps that are, like, worse than this. Um, so, yeah, so far, so good. So I just got home. I'm sat upright with a bunch of pillows. Uh, basically just, uh, trying to lay down. At first, I felt like, oh, yeah, everything's great. I don't feel any pain. And I still don't really sitting down, but walking walking really hurts like where the incision is um i will say that i was expecting so much more pain i've seen so many more videos where girls are absolutely dying or feeling like pressure uh saying that like an elephant is sitting on their chest personally i am not experiencing that thank god but yeah i'll keep you guys updated right now we're ordering food I was told to just keep on eating bland food, nothing like spicy or rich seasoning, just because I kind of need help like going to the bathroom because I can't really use my arms, but I will keep you guys updated. And also just an update, yes, I am using like Instagram filters right now. I'm not gonna try carrying my camera. My camera's all the way upstairs, I'm not gonna get good at it. Um, and also because I'm gonna look so crusty, I can't take a shower for a week. Um, or at least like wash my hair, really. Um, and just basically tr trying to avoid my bust area in the shower, which I'm like, that's gonna be a pain. But uh, yeah, so <laughs> that's interesting. But yeah, right now I don't really feel that much pain. I have a lot of air, like I guess like I can breathe fine, which is great. And yeah, see you guys later. It's currently day two. It's 8.18. I'm waking up right now for like the first time. But I'm going back to sleep because my, like I couldn't sleep last night. I woke up at two and I went back to bed at six in the morning because my back was really sore from like lying down so i lied down in the hospital 
and lying down at home. Uh, my doctor told me to walk today, so I will do that more after I wake up, like, you know, for real. But I'm gonna catch up on some sleep for right now. Uh, definitely feel more sore. My voice kind of sounds like I'm like, it definitely I think one of the bigger reasons as to why my back hurts so much is I just didn't know how to fix my pillows. So if you guys are able to like in advance um, find like one of those like back pillows, I'll put a picture somewhere because I have one for my spine surgery. Uh, but since I moved, like, I didn't keep it. Uh, it also got, like, a hole in it. Um, and the stuffing started falling out. But I think that would have helped some. Hey guys, and today is my check-in. Today it's February 12th. Um, and like I said, today was supposed to be, like, a nightmare of a day. Compared to, like, a lot of videos I've seen. And breast augmentations and recovery. I feel nothing like i feel fine i've been really drowsy because of the medications i've been on but other than that like i would not have expected to feel this good after having my uh, boobs done it's really really interesting i'm really glad obviously like i wouldn't <laughs> uh, want to be in pain so that's great but um i really don't even feel like i've had anything done uh, I wake up shocked that I'm like, oh yeah, like I have boobs now. Um, and I can't wait till they heal. If anything right now, I definitely feel like a little too comfortable wanting to do things. I'm sorry there's so much background noise. But uh, yeah, a little too comfortable wanting to do things uh, because I feel so normal. I feel so good. Um, obviously, I want to be like making fashion videos already, like sewing videos, but uh, I know that my measurements aren't gonna be accurate like they're gonna hopefully drop and like fluff more so there's really no point in me making clothes right now um, so I'm just like trying to watch Netflix and like not think about it but I'm so excited to be able to like buy new clothes or like not buy new clothes but like you know make new clothes and uh, actually like be excited about the top half of things so yeah well i'll check in if there's any anything different but so far i feel great hey guys and this is like a few days past a week of an update i tried updating you guys the day i had like my week check-in with my doctor just too many things going on so i didn't end up filming the video so uh i would definitely say the first few days had me fooled i thought it was so easy i thought my breast augmentation was so much easier than you know the videos had said it was but i think after like the sixth and seventh day i started feeling like a lot of i wouldn't say like a lot of pain but just more than i was feeling before like i was barely feeling anything and now it's actually starting to hurt um it definitely I didn't get my stitches taken out. I got my stitches taken out. And the two week appointment checkup. Um, and my doctor's actually not gonna be there. I'm gonna get them taken out by the anesthesiologist that was there for my surgery. But uh, yeah, they feel really sore towards the incision point. Being in a car ride is very painful. I think especially, sorry, those are my dogs. Um, because where I live, um, the ground isn't like flat, there's cobblestone. Uh, so being in a car is pretty painful and it's like a bumpy drive and it's, yeah, you know, just not pleasant. The surgical bra I was wearing for about a week and then it became really uncomfortable and my doctor told me, hold on. So yeah, like I was saying, uh, I was wearing a surgical bra for the first week and my doctor said that if I needed to wash my bra because I asked him because I felt really gross, um, that I could wear a sports bra. So I've found some sports bras that I never used to wear when I was like super flat chested just because I'm like, I, I don't know, I'd rather like go no bra than like a sports bra because I had nothing to hold. And now that I do need stuff to hold, um, 
I, or like need like support and stuff i'm like oh i, I don't know what this is like um but i'm using the sports bras and they're definitely more comfortable like the one i'm wearing now like my, and also another thing that i find more painful is like you really have to have the best positions when you're placing your pillows yeah the pillow positions and it sucks like it'll hurt right here and it feels like i don't know it almost feels like my implants are going to pop out of my incision i know they're not i know they're not but it hurts and it's painful um and that being said like i was supposed to i mean i'm not on any controlled substances here um typically like in mexico they try not to give you that like i'm just on paracetamol and trimadol i was supposed to be off of it once the week was up but i don't know i might start taking it just because i didn't take them today and they really hurt hopefully it goes away i will definitely check in with you guys but even my doctor's been telling me when like when he saw me like undress and take off my shirt for the check-in appointment that i'm doing way too much like upper um body movement and like i think i just find it so hard because like even now like it hurts but i'm not in extreme pain so i don't know if like my high pain tolerance is like playing against me just because like yeah and i wasn't really even supposed to like he did try helping me put on my surgical bra like at the end of the appointment um so far so good he says that they are healing fine but i definitely need to limit my arm movement which i'm like <laughs> i've already been like so bored like the fact that it's only been a week is kind of crazy to me because simultaneously like as i'm recovering my wi-fi went out like the entirety of this week so be like using up um i guess like data um here we call it like saldo uh, <laughs> And like having to like rebuy saldo so that I could like download movies and like TV shows off of Netflix. Um, and like trying to make it last because like I don't have, I didn't have Wi Fi until like yesterday. Um, so yeah, uh, like I said, I really hope that this goes away because it's just annoying. Um, 